is probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I am currently in the Cathedral House Hotel, which is known to be the most haunted hotel in all of Glasgow, Scotland. I'll be spending the night here and doing a paranormal investigation, so stay tuned. But first, let's go over some history and ghost stories. This hotel was built back in 1877 and has a very interesting history that was linked to the nearby Duke Street prison. The Cathedral House Hotel actually functioned as a sort of hostel for the newly released inmates from that prison to stay at. It is said that the Duke Street prison back in those days was a very notorious place. It had truly appalling living conditions. It also saw many executions, including the hanging of the last woman to be executed in Scotland back in 1923. Today, the Duke Street prison no longer exists. It was demolished back in 1958. Though, one of its walls still stands in very close proximity to this hotel and it's thought to have a ghost or two connected to it, like the woman that has been seen to suddenly appear and then disappear right near that very wall. One of the most commonly reported ghosts here at the hotel is that of a little boy. He usually hangs around on the main staircase of the property and has been known to touch people as they walk up and down the stairs. He's also been sighted in the downstairs bar area, running through the bar area and then disappearing through a wall. Other children are also thought to haunt the hotel. It is rumored that a woman actually drowned two of her own small children in a bathtub on the upper floor. Ever since their deaths, people believe that they have stuck around to haunt the hotel. They've been seen and heard giggling and playing usually up on the upper floors. The Cathedral House Hotel is thought to be a very, very haunted place. There's been numerous ghost sightings. People have also sighted light anomalies and experienced poltergeist activity with a chair moving across the room here. Disembodied voices and whispers all throughout the hotel are also said to be extremely common. What's even creepier is this hotel is right across the road from the Glasgow Necropolis which is also thought to be another very haunted place within Glasgow. I'll be checking out that cemetery during my stay here in Glasgow, so make sure to hit subscribe if you do want to see a video on that location. Anyway, I am really excited to be spending the night here with you all, and I can't wait to take you for a look around, so let's go. Hey guys, I am currently sitting on my bed in room number two where I'm staying here at the Cathedral House Hotel. I might try a spirit box session in here and see if there's any spirits around wishing to communicate. Hi, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits in this room with me that wish to talk? Are you able to come close and tell me your name? Why are you at this hotel? Are you from Glasgow or are you from somewhere else? How old are you? Are there any children around? Where are you from? Alright guys, I'm in the downstairs bar area of the Cathedral House Hotel. 
Uh, behind me is the front entryway. Uh, there's some cool artifacts hanging around, like the gargoyles above the entrance. And there's a skull over here too. A lot of music memorabilia and posters on the wall, so it's a pretty cool hangout spot. But there's supposed to be a bit of paranormal activity that happens here. Just uh, through these doors here are the haunted, is the haunted staircase. And the little boy that haunts and hangs around that area has also been seen in here. He has been seen walking and running uh, through this sort of walkway here, straight through this wall here. Also a lot of disembodied voices um, and whispers that are heard in this area. Earlier I was talking to one of the bar staff and she told me that this uh, landing up here is quite interesting where sometimes people will hear voices as if someone's uh, sitting up there having a drink or having a meal but there's no one up there. There's a lot to she experience the distinct sound of someone putting down a glass but super strange because there's never any, anyone up there. Another cool thing that happens here uh, frequently is people experiencing the sensation of being touched. So a lot of people have been touched on the back, um, on the hair and on the hands as they're just uh, sort of sitting at the bar having a drink. So I think uh, we might pitch up at the top and try a spirit box session. This is a spirit box session in the downstairs bar area of the Cathedral House Hotel Glasgow. Hi, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that want to communicate? Could you please come close and tell me your name? Why are you at this hotel? There's a fox out there. See him? Oh yeah. Is that a fox? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> if someone is in this room with me, could you please come close and tell me your name? Are there any children here with me? Is there a little boy here? So we've got the downstairs area of the hotel to ourselves. That was uh, behind me is the bar that we were just in. Uh, to my right is the cellar. And I want to have a look down there. So there's no ghost stories down here that I know of. But it's a bit scary <laughs> you head there so it looks like they have a Halloween decoration at the back here and this is their cake cola it's pretty dark So that was the cellar, but this is the place that I'm really interested in. This is the uh, very famous staircase where a lot of uh, majority of the paranormal activity is said to center on. So this is where the, the boy um, haunts. And I think that we might sit here for a little bit and see if we can do EVP and a spirit box and uh, try and reach out. So I'm now sitting on the staircase where that little boy um, is said to hang out. I'm going to try a spirit box and uh, see how we go with that. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anybody around that wants to talk? Are there any kids here? I heard there's a little boy that likes to hang around this area. Alright guys, I am 
I'm still sitting on the staircase at the um, Cathedral House Hotel and this time I'm going to try an EVP and see how we go with that. Hi, is there anybody here that wants to communicate? What is that noise? Sound like toilet flushing downstairs? Yeah, it sounds like. Should we go down and have a look? So, maybe you should go in there because that's the dude's toilet. We were sitting upstairs, there's no one else downstairs here at all that we know of. And we're hearing the toilets flush down here in the bar area. It sounds like water's running in there now too. I can check it out. Yeah, you go in there first and take this. So the urinal is like filling up as if it has been flushing. So you think it's been flushed? Do they auto do that every now and then? Mm -hmm. Let me check. It doesn't look automatic to me. Yeah. Oh, it's leaking. Maybe. Hold on. You shouldn't be in here. Oh! Ah, let's go the can of Oh! 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 I think I just walked in on a ghost taking a leak. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they're on some kind of auto sensor. I didn't see one in there though, and it looked pretty, it looked like an older one. Yeah. Yeah, I, again, I don't know if they're on an auto sensor or what, but that thing has been flushing by itself. <laughs> so this is the restaurant slash function area. So it looks like we just had a hippie party in here. <laughs> Um, it's pretty cool, check this out. The love bus. Um, I'm not aware of any particular haunting stories that go on in here, but uh, been as we're in here, I say maybe we try a spirit box or um, yeah, see if we can use some of these balloons for something. start talking to this balloon and ask someone to move it though it's already moving so I don't know how legitimate an experiment this is. If there's any spirits in this room could you step up to this table and use your energy to move this balloon? Can you blow it off of the table? Can you move it a bit more than that so that we know you're here? Yeah, I don't think this balloon experiment has any <laughs> the scientific backing whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, um, maybe we should do a spirit box then. hall slash restaurant area of did you hear that? Probably just a wood creaking. Yeah I keep hearing noises over here. Um, of the Cathedral House Hotel we are going to try and do a spirit box in this room. Are there any spirits in this room with me? If you want to communicate, can you come close and talk to me? What is your name? Why are you here at the hotel? 
Hotel. Are you happy to be here? Were you ever a prison inmate? Can you tell me how you died? Were you drowned? So the Cathedral House Hotel is behind me. I am leaving it right now, it's about two in the morning. I'm uh, gonna go for a walk to the only part of the Duke Street prison that has left uh, one of its walls and we're gonna try and reach out there. It's freezing. So guys, I am at the prison wall. Um, it's kind of too windy for an EVP. And I also don't want to do a spirit box because I'm actually surrounded by apartments everywhere. And it is 2 a.m. Hate to wake anybody up, but it is creepy being out here. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a little face, that's creepy. That? It's probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. Comment below if you noticed anything creepy or you know of any other Glasgow ghost stories. Also, make sure to subscribe because I have a video on the Glasgow Necropolis coming really soon. It is currently pretty close. Ooh, it is currently pretty close to 3 a.m. and that's actually where I'm headed now. Remember, until next time, stay spooky.